here. We are taking a look at first worn Doppler radar. You can see it is lit up and a reminder that the whole area is under a tornado watch until six this evening. Brad has been tracking the movement of the storm through our area. He joins us now with an update. Hey, Brad. Thanks, Vanessa. We're keeping an eye on these storms moving through the area right now. Let me quickly show you where that line is. It's basically right over us right now as it moves across the Piedmont. We're seeing a lot of cloud to ground lightning. In fact, let me zoom into a couple locations here because into northern Mecklenburg County, we're seeing some active cloud to ground lightning up towards Salisbury. I've got the temperatures on here as well because you can see how warm it is ahead of that front and also how strong the winds are just ahead of that. Let's show you a little bit closer and I'm going to do a couple storm tracks on here real quickly just to show you the speed of this. Now again, anywhere in this line, potentially some gusty winds, small hail, cloud to ground lightning, and still the possibility of a tornado. We are under a tornado watch until six o'clock. But the good news is once this line moves through, you're in the clear for severe weather. That is pushing off to the east at about 30 to 35 miles per hour. So Rock Hill, 445 Matthews, closer to 450, um, and then towards Red Cross, Unionville, Monroe, Wingate, Marshville, between 5 and 530. So this is moving east fairly quickly. That's the good news. The bad news is we have seen a lot of wind with this and even some um, damage to some tree branches. Now behind it, this is the all clear. Everybody west of that line is clear from severe. So you're out of the woods for severe weather and we're starting to see the tornado watch uh, scale back. And just to show you that tornado watch, you can see Cleveland County was just removed from the tornado watch. And as this line moves through, I expect we'll see additional counties removed from this line. Now let me show you future cast real quickly just to show you where that storm is going to go as it goes through the evening off to the east. We've seen this uh, surge of thunderstorm fuel just ahead of that. That warm front has driven a lot of this into the region. But as we go through the evening, you see the thunderstorm fuel begins the wane. It pushes out and we actually start to see improving conditions. So while most of the day it's been miserable cloud drizzle and mist in the last couple of hours, we've seen the spike in temperatures and eventually these storms rolling in. Now we're starting to see them push through the area. Meteorologist Aisha Scott has a look at what's going to happen the rest of the evening and pretty quick uh, movement of the system. Aisha, we are likely going to see conditions improve rapidly. That's the good news, Brad. This line is moving pretty quickly, so I want to give you a timeline here because here we are right now. So this is at four o'clock. However, as we work our way closer to say seven, eight o'clock, this line will start to push farther to the east. So this is eight o'clock this evening. This line pushing across uh, parts of Richmond County, even over towards Chesterfield County, Anson County. And then we're actually mainly clear across most of our viewing area by eight o'clock this evening. However, we will start to see those clouds roll back in. So this is five o'clock in the morning Friday. We've got some showers out there and certainly we've got clouds as well. But notice our winds will shift out of the northwest that's going to bring in some cooler air and what's happening here is we've got the upper level part of this system so we've got an area of low pressure that's higher up in the atmosphere that's going to move across the region so that's going to still make things a little bit more unstable so can't rule out some showers early tomorrow morning nine o'clock though most of the rain starts to move out pushing into central north carolina into virginia and then into the afternoon we really start to dry things out but again it will be cooler off of that northwest wind and we'll likely have some clouds sticking around tomorrow afternoon as well. Now it is quite gusty out there. We've got those breezy southerly winds. We're up to 26 miles per hour right now in Charlotte, 33 in Rock Hill. And look what happens as we work our way through the rest of the afternoon. The winds, we will start to see those winds uh, certainly increasing and picking up into tomorrow afternoon. And then things will start to quiet down into the weekend. Now, Brad, how are we looking as we work our way into the weekend? Yeah, we are going to see some much colder conditions moving in over the next couple of days. Aisha, as you mentioned, once the system moves out, temperatures are only going to be in the low 50s tomorrow with morning lows in the 40s and this weekend gardeners. I know everybody's wanted to plant early and we got uh, the growing season kicked off here in the last two weeks, but we're likely going to see a frost or freeze both Saturday and Sunday morning with temperatures dropping down into the lower 30s, maybe a few spots in the upper 20s. But again, line of severe storms moving through the area right now. It's pretty much right over Interstate 77. Once it pushes off to the east, though, skies will begin to clear a little bit and we actually should see the severe weather move out of the area, Bill.